All right, welcome back. So in this class, we're gonna create our course from scratch. So the first things we need to do is to go to course here on the left and press the plus button or click on new course. Now I already um, come up with a name, so I'm gonna just copy and paste some text from here. I'm gonna paste it there. Uh, author is gonna be me. So I'm gonna just leave it as it is. Then subtitle is going to be just a description of what your course is going to be about. And then I'm going to just copy and paste here uh, this text, which is, is my bio, but you can just essentially you can copy and paste uh, the description of the course and click on create course. After you do that, on the left hand side, you're going to see a list of all the different things that you can change within the course. You have the information, which is going to be the information about your course. You have the publish button on top. Then you have preview to see how your course looks like. And then you if you scroll down, you have details. You have SEO. This is just to make sure that is search engine friendly. So make sure the descriptions here is correct, makes sense. You have the keywords that you need and the meta descriptions. So I just put here my, this is this, the description of the course. Then uh, you get branding. Here the cool thing in Teachable that you can actually see how your course is gonna look like on the desktop or on an iOS device as well. So you have here thumbnails where you're gonna put the thumbnails of your course. I'm gonna just press add here and I'm gonna add one of my images from my folder. Uh, I happen to have the folder open and I'm going to choose an image from here and I'm gonna drag it in so make sure you click on my computer uh, I'm gonna drag it here because I've got already the folder open and click on upload so now the image is it's uploaded here now the feature background is the background of your sales page so if you want to preview this you can go on top here and click on sales page and it's going to show you how your sales page is going to look like so here i've got a black background with the name of the course and i've got my social media here so teachable already gives you this social media buttons i've got the descriptions of the course i've got my avatar here which you need to basically put your picture and then the faq at the end so i haven't finished yet so i have to go back into my admin here and I can go back here and choose a different background. So if I replace the background image with one of mine, I'm gonna choose one of my images just to show you how it looks. Say I'm gonna choose this image here. And I'm gonna put my computer, and I'm gonna drag the image in, and click on upload. Now, if I go in sales page, or I go back to my sales page and I refresh the page, I should be able to see that image in the background. There we go. Now, if the image is too bright and you barely see the text, you can go back here. We can make the image darker. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. And also you have the option to put a video. So if you wanna add a video, just press that. And I'm gonna add a video from another course I did. And I'm gonna just do that and press upload. Okay, the video has been uploaded. Now I've got my thumbnail, my feature background, and my promo video. Now the the difference between thumbnail and feature background is that the feature background is gonna be in your sales page. The thumbnail is going to be the small little cover for your course in this case. So it can be actually the same as the feature background. So you could do that just to keep the course consistent. So I could actually go here and replace this image with the same image that we use for your background. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm going to add that in. I'm gonna press upload. So we have the same thumbnail image that our uh, sales page. And then our video is here now. If you scroll down here, you have default pages. It says thank you page, that means after they purchase your course, is gonna direct them into a thank you page, which is the standard thank you page. Or you can choose a 
customized thank you page. Uh, you can create that in Teachable as well. Like I showed you in the previous videos how to create a page, you can make a thank you page in the same way. In this case, I'm gonna just leave the, the default page, thank you page. And then I'm gonna scroll down here and you also have an option to delete the course if you change your mind or to duplicate the course if you want to just make another version of the course with let's say you have like a full price cor course and you have another course which is light version of it um, which costs less but you have like sort of a teaser module just for them to uh, see it like a free of charge or like half, of, half price you can do that sort of strategy um, just to attract more students into the course okay so this is our first page and now we can go back to the sales page and refresh and now we should be able to see this button that appears in the background it says wa uh, watch promo so when I click there a video is going to start and it's still uploading so it's not gonna come up right away but after the video is being uploaded uh, fully uploaded into teachable when they click that it's gonna play straight away so let's go back here uh, and then the next step would be adding your uh, videos into the curriculum so in the next class I'm gonna show you that I'll see you in a bit